Alright, got a copy. Uh, tornado watch just issued. 10 4. Tornado watch is until midnight. Copy, awesome. We're going to take the exit 6 miles from now, 259. We're going to go down toward West Liberty and then shoot West toward Hill. 10 4, following. Yeah, the base on this cell is looking really healthy, guys. Oh, this thing is classic. Classic super cell, classic shape, absolutely. You guys want to go share with all your friends here. I have a feeling we're going to see some really cool stuff today. We're getting a ZDR arc in the forward flank of this cell. We're getting good size starting between the hydro meteors. Zoom out because this thing is so amazing. Look at that bad boy. Good lord, that's beautiful. Yes, it is. Wow. This might be one of the most beautiful cells I've ever seen before. Look at that view, guys. Got a TVS of six on your storm, uh, Bill. Hey, we might have it. We might have something going there. Never fall apart. Yeah, we definitely got a funnel cloud here. Hey, we definitely got a funnel cloud. It might it might be almost down here, guys. It's gotta be down. It's gotta be down. Yeah, it's down. Alright guys, we got a tornado on the ground. It's the most beautiful storm I've ever seen in my life. West of Davenport in Iowa City. Look at that view, guys. We definitely got a tornado on the ground right now. Just hold on. Get past these Roman trees up here on the left. Be pulling off. All right, 10-4. Sorry guys, we got trees, but it's definitely on the ground. I can't see it behind the trees right now, but it was on the ground for quite a bit. Oh yeah, it's definitely on the ground. The road here by the star lines, we'll take a left there. All right, 10-4. Wow, this thing is amazing. Their vehicles out here. Okay, there you go, guys. Tornado definitely on the ground. Oh my god. Hey guys, wow, huh? Look at that thing.
Bill, their tornado report uh, one mile northwest of Williamstown. Train spotter, tornado on the ground, multiple spotters observed. Must be out of the car because I can hear myself over this over his stream and he's not answering. It's probably out there looking at that beautiful thing. <laughs> Alright, we have some debris on the ground, guys. You sent a clip to uh Nathan Wright since it's Iowa, Becky. <laughs> Yeah, sorry guys, I'm outside the car, taking time off and stuff. Wow, it's about ready. I think I think it still might be on the ground, guys. Yeah, it looks like it might be multi vortice Uh We're occasionally seeing debris. Oh, they got you live on TWC right now. All right, you said they got me live on it? <laughs> yes, sir, they do. 10-4. Hey, I'm live on the Weather Channel, guys. <laughs> yeah! Big sale. Yeah! Let's go! That's awesome. <laughs> They're doing a screen capture, apparently. But, uh, yeah, stay on it, man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I just sold the TWC, so you should uh, just keep the stream rolling, keep, keep on the storm for a while. They're going to want to keep seeing what that storm does, so stay with them. Emergency alert! Emergency alert! Yeah, 10... 10-4, we'll do. 10-4, we'll do. Yeah, I'm sitting uh, just off of 80 in West Branch, and it is definitely not on the ground. Wall cloud is definitely still rotating. Great job, Bill. That was awesome, man. I watched across the road. That was beautiful. Thank you, Nathan. Yeah, it's still wound up really tight on SRV. Yeah, 10-4. I mean, it looks like it's ready to go again. Um, we're going to be able to watch this for a little while yet, um, but then we'll have to sit there and move here, but we do have a little bit of time yet. I can move the car angles and stuff. Yeah, like I said, I'm all the way in West Branch, and I can see the rotation from here. It's uh, it's definitely looking good. It's It picked up, but it's starting to lower again. Bill, they went to commercial if you want to try to get a little bit clearer spot. Um, actually what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to move my car here and I got a wide open space for probably about at least 15 miles. I'm going to move my car. Okay, yeah, because that wall cloud, it's in behind uh, that tree in the barn. Yeah. Bill, very nicely done. Very good. Um, if you have any actual recordings and you can without screwing with your stream, send it in. If not, don't worry about it. Yep. All right, I'll uh, see what I can do. I was doing a time lapse, but I'll uh, start taking video as well. Okay, I got some clips that just weren't very good quality, but uh, I think TWC got what they wanted. I mean, they'll keep using you, obviously, but again, well done. You got some nice exposure there, too. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Yeah, we are going to move.
Hello, that's Bill. Hey, Bill, this is Ryan calling from the Weather Channel in Atlanta. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you? Good, good. We have uh, we have the live stream up on air uh, right now. We're following your tornado in Iowa City. Uh, we want to take you uh, for a phoner live on the air. Can I send you into the control room? Yeah, that would work. Appreciate it. Stand by. All right, sounds good. The shape to it, smooth sides to it. That would show you that got really strong up for Hey, Bill? Yes, hello. Hello, this is Keith, one of the producers here at the Weather Channel. Thanks for joining us here. We're going to take you live here to air in under a minute, okay? All Alex right. and Mike Bettis will be speaking to you. All right, sounds good. Be, be a positive here. You mentioned that we do have some cooler air out ahead of this. Where we've already seen rain from the system. You can see that area uh, just to the southwest of West Branch. Uh, West Branch, you would be up next in terms of additional communities from this storm. 724 your time, Cedar Valley at 738, and then Rochester at 747. Uh, so these are communities, are Rochester beyond the current warning, but we would uh, we would obviously be watching to see if that's extended. Joining us on the phone right now, Bill Kransky, uh, watching the storm for us and tracking it for us. Bill, thanks so much for being here. Uh, tell us what you're seeing right now and what it was like maybe even just 10 minutes ago. Uh, right now we're currently seeing uh, a little bit of inflow trying to get back into the storm. Um, from both directions here. Um, it looks a little bit disorganized overall, but it's it's trying to get going again. Um, earlier, uh, we had a big tornado, or I don't know if I'd call it big, but we definitely had a tornado on the ground. Um, we had a really good view from it. The overall, how long have you been tracking this, and how long would you say that tornado uh, was on the ground before it lifted? Um, if I had to guess, I'd probably say at least five, maybe even ten minutes on the ground, uh, maybe even longer. Um, we were we had a lot of blockage by trees for a little bit. Um, I've been tracking it for probably about probably over an hour now. We were watching it, seeing if it was going to develop a little bit stronger or not. Bill, how far away from it uh, would you estimate that you that you've been, and, and did you have any opportunity to see if it had lofted any debris into the air at all? Had it hit anything? Um, I could not tell what it was hitting. Um, I was probably at least five miles away or more, probably actually more, probably closer to 10. Um, we could definitely see debris. Um, I can't confirm what kind of debris, though. What's the, uh, the area like as you make your way through? Obviously, we've seen it looks like a, a decent amount of residential neighborhoods in the area that storm would be over, although from your vantage point, it looks like a very, fairly rural area. Yeah, so right now it looks like it's actually going right over a rural area, which is good. Um, once you get past Iowa City, um, it actually becomes a lot less communities, um, a lot more rural areas. Well, Bill, thanks so much for the amazing pictures, the amazing analysis here um, um, as the threat has come through Iowa City. Thank you um, for showing it all to us. Uh, the storm looks like it may be weakening fairly significantly now as it comes across Interstate 80 right now. But we have some new video we want to show you here. Uh, the tornado in the distance here. This is a, a different perspective for us here, and obviously you can see what what happened. It's it's a tornado, no question. Yeah, and uh, right uh, right right down the center of the screen, essentially on the other side of the tree line. Here a view from Iowa City, as uh, Bill mentioned, it's on the ground for maybe five up to ten minutes as it made its way uh, into and through the south part of Iowa City. Uh, the, again, the recent radar uh, picture of this does not look as healthy, and obviously the view that Bill gave us just a moment ago, it didn't look as organized as obviously what we saw, say, 15 to 20 minutes ago. Sure, and we can even show you the current image. It looks it looks a lot different from that. We do have a, a wall cloud that's hanging down here. We've got a little bit of spin uh, in there. You can you can see that right kind of right center of the street. Kind of where that bug is. Um, that is <laughs> that is where. Um, if there were to be a touchdown, it'd probably be in that area. But the radar does show that it's, it's gotten a little weaker. The storm is a little more compact than it was. And uh, if there was a tornado, it'd be kind of in this area just to the west of West Branch. There's some weak rotation in there. And I think that's, um, that's played out on the camera that you see on the left-hand side there. It was really tight at one point, and now it's a lot weaker than it once was. Yeah, uh, good news here. Uh, also good news that this is moving out of uh, the more densely populated Iowa City and into some of the more rural communities as you get to the east side. But still, if you are in West Branch, if you are in Cedar Valley, I want you to make sure you're inside. Uh, look this level most into your room. Uh, let this storm uh, pass you. Let it ride out. Uh, still could see some heavy rain 
and perhaps some hail, although I think looking even less likely that we'd be looking at some uh, some severe criteria hail out of this storm. So there's some good news. Rochester obviously beyond the warning, but still you're in line. I want you to watch for it. Our other big story tonight is flooding and flash flooding ongoing, even flash flooding emergencies or flash flood emergencies in play across parts of the plains. We're going to break these down for you, tell you the areas that we are currently watching and also where we think problems could get worse, including around Kansas City where we have active flash flood warnings as we speak. Dr. Rick Nab is up with us next. He's going to break down each and every one of these warnings and let you know what it means for you as you head into the overnight. Local 8, brought to you by Michelob Ultra Pure Gold. Hey, Bill. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Uh, we are clear from you uh, in terms of on the phone, but we are going to take a live picture here. All but, right. Uh, you're going to hang up if you need to. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Th thank you very much. Yep. Bye. Yeah, and it's, it looks like it's getting ready to kind of do something again. Yeah, that's what we're looking at as well. Yep. So I got, I got a little bit better angle here. I'll try to get it where I don't have that pole in there. Sounds good, bud. We'll appreciate it. It looks good. Yep. There you go. Perfect, perfect. All right, so you said I can hang up now? All right, so I'm good? Yeah, looks good. Thank you so much. Yep, thank you. Yep, bye. That end blow tail. Yeah, stupid bug had to get into the shot. <laughs> Hey John, if you're over there, West Branch, man, watch this thing. It's coming your direction. Great interview, uh, Bill. Yeah, I agree. Well done, Bill. I was listening in. Bill, can you move your camera to the right a little bit? Bill, when you get a chance to, you may want to try to wash your window, but you may not be able to either. Yeah, 10 4 on that. I am watching this thing. It is coming right at me. It is gorgeous. Spit on the window, Bill. Spit on the window. Do not do what Matt does and pee on the window. That is only for Kansas people. Yeah, you just got to zoom in really far, zoom out really far, then you'll be okay. And when you you had a tornado on the ground, about the time I got in the house, man, I brought it up real quick. That was excellent. Yeah, I just happened to be flipping through the streams, and I was like, whoa, wait, wait. <laughs> perfect timing. Yeah, I mean, the contrast and everything was just perfect for that shot. Man, it was really cool. And, Bill, you did a great job on your interview. Had another funnel coming down there behind that... Uh, Power pole. The golly, it is. It's trying again. Yeah, it's definitely trying, and it is real close, so I'm getting out of here. Bill, I'd hold that shot. They're doing the local on the eighth right now, and they'll be coming back in the next minute or so. They like they got you live again, Bill. Man, right when he was cleaning his window too. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, I'm so still watching it real close here. Your hand made a guest appearance on TWC. Yeah, they brought your stream up live again right when you was cleaning the windshield. He says, Bill, get the fingernails trimmed. <laughs> hey, I've been on the road for eight days. Give me a break.
Yeah, I'm storm. My girls think we should go down. No, not that bad yet. 